extend a bit so that you get that one away. Off Romeo Foxtrot, are you ready immediate? Immediate ready for the lineup, up departure. Roger, 120 degrees less than 5. Talk us through the emotions, because most people go, it's just a flight. Looks like it's a tiger moth. Looks like a tiger moth on the airfield. Woohoo! Right. So we're almost at the point where the tents are all set up. Paul's thieving half my kit because he didn't bring it. I had to bring it for him. Have you got your own funnel? If you're going camping with friends, don't take two to two of everything. No. It's a tip for you. Yeah. I'm I just knew, being different. I knew you were taking a funnel, so I didn't need one. Mr. Funnel, it's the only way to filter your it fuel. Is. Absolutely. Yeah, essential. Essential. We had one on the Blado trip. Anyway, anyway, the reason. The reason I've brought myself over here is not just because the food Dan's cooking for us smells amazing. Uh, are we are allowed to eat it, are we? Uh, it depends. Is that a party salad? It's a part. Well, this is a party, so party Ooh. salad. Okay, that's just to make it look healthy for blokes. We've got meat. <laughs> it is meat. Yeah. Just meat. meat. Meat and bread. So, Dan, you. Uh, how long ago did you go solo? Uh, oh God. Um, I should be able to remember that. Shouldn't <laughs> I? I really should be able to remember. Because I did that. phone you up on the evening to go, mate. Congratulations. It's in my logbook. It's not very long. Yeah. It's about three weeks, isn't it? About, about three, three weeks, weeks ago. So, talk us through the emotions, because most people go, it's just a flight. Is it just a flight? No, it's not just a flight. Well, of course it's just a flight. It's what you've been doing with the instructor. It's just a flight, isn't it? Yeah. But, but it's not. It's so much more than that. You've got the terror, the panic, that, oh my God, I can't do this. How did I get in this position? I'm not good enough. I'm going to crash. What's the instructor thinking? He must be wrong if he thinks I'm safe to fly. I'm not trustworthy to all of that lot and then you put that out of your head and then you go well fly. you just think i'm gonna do it anyway and you just as you hurtle off down the runway and the airspeed builds and then the bar goes forward and you're off the ground and you think oh bother um i've done it now i'm off the ground so, and then it's funny after that you just sort of relax you think well i'm, I'm up and i kind of know what i'm doing and you just fly it and you just do what you've been trained to do and then these little moments start creeping in as you sort of on downwind or whatever and you just sort of think I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. And yeah. it's all concentrating. It's just a magical experience. Just just flying on your own in an aeroplane without an instructor. It's just... Um, and no no voice in the ears. No voice in the ears. It's yeah. just... Uh, it's magic. It's absolutely magic. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Hold yourself. In a separate aeroplane. <laughs> in a separate aeroplane, yeah. I'll stay well yeah. out of the way, don't worry. Anyway, you probably hear the sizzling in the background. Yeah, uh, I'm there. actually getting really hungry now. And so I hope you enjoyed the video thus far. Stick with us. <clears throat> My funnel's bigger than yours. <laughs> I'm struggling with this one. Is it a Mr. Funnel though? No, it's not a Mr. Funnel, it's a cheap Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> Link in the description. Oh no, this is your video. No, it's my video. My it. video. So Dan's Dan's brought the fuel. We've mixed the oil. But we're in two different ratios, aren't we? So we can't share fuel. You've uh, you spilt your can man. Oh no! Wastage! Wastage! Well, stop everything immediately. Yeah, you're slopping all around. So, uh, I've spilled petrol in it, that's what I've done. Yeah. It's nearly oh, finished though. Oh, I wouldn't drink that. If you go do Lally later on, yeah, we'll know what's going on. Probably not a good idea yeah. to drink that. So, anyway. having fuel and food when you land, everything else can be dealt with, can't it? Absolutely. Right, yeah. Clubs up, guys! Uh, we're going to shut the cameras down because I want to eat, so join you in a bit. information that you can get from YouTube is a wrap of stuff. <laughs> but one of them is your attention. Okay. So it will quite interesting. So right now we're having a little bit of chat about YouTube and how the algorithm works and also how to uh, how to keep the videos entertaining as much as we like just to make them for fun and games. But uh, we always say we're trying to work out where wh which point in the videos that people drop off and we can see all the graphs and other bits and pieces. So uh, so if I said right now thanks for watching you'd probably drop off right now but actually there's still loads more to come. Point but, anything, they've gone. No they've gone they've gone <laughs> there's no point. <laughs> but um, Half of it, and say, so well, we were chatting with Dan, it's about it depends on what you like watching. And, and you were saying actually, you like the return journeys. And I do, and we, yeah. we noticed that actually in the, in the old YouTube graphics that actually the moment we're here um, and we've done what we're sort of we've given you your dopamine fix of we've arrived, then uh, then quite literally it's, uh, it's it's game over for a video. But everyone's got to keep watching this one though, because Paul's nearly had enough beer now that he's getting ready to do his very special dance, <laughs> and that, that's going to happen at the end. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> it's all gone downhill now, isn't it? So, uh, so yeah, so we're trying to work out what you actually like in the videos. Now again, 
Paul's video will be up here in the description and you'll see his side of it. I'm sure you'll give a much more amusing side than me. Uh, we've tried to put as many innuendos as possible in the videos, haven't we? We don't try, that just happens. It's it just natural. happens, isn't it? Yeah, big sausage. Uh, <laughs> big flaps on the hand he's playing it what are you talking about it's already going downhill already and i'm on the lemonade so uh so yeah uh but yeah it's just just let us know what you like whether you actually like to see the return journeys or or whatever but say so today it's great to have a bit more radio communication with the tower but uh but yeah we're going to enjoy the evening and if colesburg could make flying trips this would be it dan has set the benchmark so oh, high now He's a legend. a legend. He's said it's so high now that any other camping trip Paul and I do is just yeah. going to be downhill. Any camping trip where we turn up where there isn't food laid on and <laughs> fuel and fuel. Yeah. It's just going to be rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going yeah. to keep improving, making bigger and better. Um, right, so uh, I had a bit of a soppy moment earlier, and uh, we're at Shopton Airfield if you haven't worked out already for the rest of the video. But uh, the, the facilities here are amazing. And uh, yeah, just to be able to go and use clean bathrooms and toilets, have a wash of the face and, and just cool down really and sort of feel clean before we go to yeah. bed. Uh, Paul and I have just gone for a, an old bloke's walk around the airfield and, and just sort of had a few contemplation moments and here's a couple of pictures on the screen. We were feeling a bit photographic, weren't we? And uh, your camera still takes an awesome picture, all the, all the yeah. AI. But we just had a bit of a moment of just kind of, we don't really want to go home tomorrow, do we? I never no. got to, but... It's, it's almost like you've got you've got your normal life and then you've got this where you can just switch off yeah and, and the, 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 being on an air on an airfield i mean i, I love being on airfields anyway because if you like aviation then an airfield's a place to be in it but at this time of night when it's shut down and it's closed down airfields are always in the middle of nowhere so all you can hear is birds and you know yeah and you've got the place to yourself not like stoke golding last year when we had the blooming that wasn't Stoke Golding's fault, that was just the wedding reception. No, it, yeah, it, it, it was, to be fair to Stoke Golding, it was, it was a wedding reception. We just happened to pick the wrong day. But, uh, <laughs> I think we're going to have a quiet night tonight. But say, if, if, we, if we both go quiet for a second... That's literally what we've got. It's fantastic. <laughs> it really is. Just to sort of sit here in peace and quiet and natter and chew the fat and... Put the world to rights. Put the world to rights. And, and again, I know it's in Paul's video, but a huge thank you to Dan. Absolute legend uh, that is. Um, you've got so many favours with us, it's unreal, because you've, you've set Carlsberg. Carlsberg's a low standard now. Um, for those that know about the Carlsberg joke, mm. <laughs> I think if, if I said that in mine as well, I did you? Okay, I didn't realise you said that. It sums it up, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You couldn't ask for a, uh, you know, a better way to spend an evening. Yeah. However, is it going to get topped by Meg's breakfast? We've been told about Meg's breakfast here, and apparently they're legendary as well. So legendary food from Dan, a Meg's breakfast in the morning, and then a fly back to Darley Moor and come back to re reality. Yeah, that's the last bit. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> but this is nice to go to somebody else's reality because those that fly from Shobden know Shobden very well. Uh, it's the first time for us coming here. Um, however, I will be chatting to Graham, uh, Graham Inns from the Air, Air Traffic Control Tower, and uh, say tomorrow and get a bit more of his perspective of, of why Shobden's special. So uh, we're going to shut the cameras down now, aren't we? Enjoy the rest of the evening. Um, Paul's going to finish the rest of his beers. Beer. Zzz. Zzz. Um, and then uh, we're just going to chill out and, uh, and go, go to sleep in the peace and quiet that is. So, uh, so join you in the morning, everybody. So, good morning, everybody. Day two of our flamping trip to Shobden. And, yeah, what a night. Uh, it was a bit weird one because it was a full moon. So, it's like when you turn the phone off or whatever for the light and it was like, it's still bright. So felt a bit weird until, until the early morning when the, uh, the moon had gone. Um, yes, we're just packing up, getting a few bits and pieces. Paul's uh, deflating his bed. Uh, luckily, my, my inflatable bed did actually stay up last night, which is great. And uh, we're just waiting for Meg's breakfast to, uh, to be on tap. Uh, bumped into a friend this morning. So uh, hi, mate. You'll know who you are if you're watching the video. Other than that, we're, uh, I think there's some parachuting in here um, later this morning. So we might stay to watch that. Other than that, we're just getting packed down, drying off all the tent kit um, uh, and uh, getting packed up and ready to go. So this is the joy of flamping. And it's just so nice to leisurely wake up, um, 
I have been massively impressed with the facilities here and it was worth the, uh, the, the money to pay overnight to, um, to actually use those facilities as well. So there's a shower block and a toilet and so I've had to wash my face, you have to wash my face. Uh, all these little things that just make it a little bit more comfortable. But yeah, I think I will definitely, definitely come back to Shobden. He's nicking all my ideas, he's vlogging the menu. <laughs> Learn from the master. Is it vlogging me, vlogging you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we said we weren't going to do that. So which, so which breakfast are you going for then? Um, my, my belly says the mighty, <laughs> but everything else in my brain that I know about takeoff weights is yeah. saying go for the small. Go for the small. Yeah, so I might play it so I can go for the small one. Yeah. It's warm, isn't it? So everyone, a little bit of a view outside. I, I don't want that bit editing out, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Keep that bit in. We want to see it. It's got to be real. Keep it real. Keep it raw. <laughs> so everyone, you've had a little bit of a view outside of a wonderful view here from Shobden Tower. But those that have been here before will have heard a very distinctive voice of Graham. Graham, welcome to the channel. Hi there. How are you doing, boys? <laughs> yeah. So as uh, as always, um, XRF. We get everywhere and do a sterling job. It's busy here, isn't it? It can be extremely busy. These are Terrier Readability 5, homie. Yeah, 555, five, five, all good. Busy here, isn't it? It can be, yeah. It yeah. can get extremely busy when the weather's good and especially off the back the back of a bad weather spell. Yeah. It gets busy here. So you've got the Sky Van, you've got jumpers, you've got us, visiting aircraft. A lot of military visitors also. So yeah. it does but how long have you been working here then? I've been working here just over two years. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Best yeah. job I've ever had. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. 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 Um, and so I, I popped up yesterday to ch just to chat to, to get a bit more of a background. But it's a very, very unique place here. It's all kind of hub for a lot of, for the, for the Wales side, for the for South Mid Midlands and, and yeah. everything. Yeah, we get a lot of training. We get a lot of Q QXCs come in. Um, and it's, we've got a nice cafe. It's a world-renowned cafe, so people come in. From we, we've had the Meg's breakfast. Thanks for the recommendation. And how was it? It was delicious. Absolutely. Yeah. Plug, plug. Yeah. You gotta do it. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, we get we get visitors from all over. We just yeah. had a, a fly-in last week, which was very popular. We had about, oh, well, certainly more than fifty visitors. Yeah. Um, very successful day. How many controllers have you got here? Well, we have FISO and Air Ground here. Uh, depending on how busy it's going to be or um, or who's available. Uh, we've got about 10 staff who rotate up here. Yeah. Uh, there's no full-time staff in the town. So we're going to try and not cause too much chaos when we depart, but we will call up for our engine starts and backtrack. Yeah, no problem. But it seems like you're very passionate about what you do and, and it seems that you're also very flexible in, in allowing different people to modify and, and well, still... That, that's the name of the game here. We, we bend over backwards to fit everybody in. Yeah. Um, and I definitely think we'll be back. Oh yes, you yeah. got to come back. You got to come back. Not Everybody right. always comes back. <laughs> Everybody always comes back to Shelburne. Brilliant, Graham. Thank you so much for your nice time. Nice to meet you guys. Jesus. Enjoy your flight back Will to Darling. Yeah, and thank you for being so accommodating. No, no problem. But, uh, anytime. But yeah, the uh, our PPR phone call was recorded at Darling Moor, so you were at the other end, other end as was well. Was that me as well? Yeah. <laughs> you got you drew the short straw. You got me on. Two days. Cool. Sorry about that. Right, we're going to go meet someone else that's flown in in CTSW, Clive Mason. Wherever there's a camera, there's Clive. So we're going to go and chat to Clive now. So, Graham, thanks very much. Nice to see you guys. Catch you later. Right, quick update. Um, the drop plane has been dropping parachutists for about the last 20 minutes. They've just come down. They're going to, we've had to phone the, uh, the tower to find out what's going on. Uh, but in short, they, they're going to be um, pretty much turning around in five minutes and going back up, which stops us getting airborne. So we're stuck on the ground. We've desuited now. Um, because it was getting a little bit warm and toasty. It's about 20 odd degrees on the ground at the moment, 20, 25 degrees. So yeah, and uh, every aircraft that's going out, has started and getting out now has been going to be held away. So let's be safe and uh, in short, we're going to wait to get airborne. So hopefully I will join you on the flight on the way back. Paul's there, he's doing his vlog intro and basically we are getting ready to go and engine start. So... Shopping radio from Golf Charlie, Mike Romeo, Foxtrot, the Visitors Park, requesting uh, engine start permission and taxi for uh, 08 right hand.
Cough, Charlie, Mike, Romeo, Foxtrot. We could have probably got you away before, um, but uh, the para drop in aircraft was a bit delayed, so sorry about that. Are you clear for us for engine to start and taxi? Go for me, Foxtrot. Hey, firm, nothing known to affect your start. 08 right hand and the QNH 1018. 08 right hand and 1008. Golf, Romeo Foxtrot. Radio, Golf, Charlie, Mike, Papa, X ray, Flex 3. Parking, uh, requesting radio check on 118 and start engine. Go, Charlie, Mike, Papa, X-ray, power drop and finish, nothing known to affect your start. 08 right hand at Shopton and the QNH 1018. 08 right hand at 1018 and uh, copy, finish, start engine. 1018, QNH. Go, Kilo, Charlie, surface wind, 090 zero zero degrees, less than 5. Roger, final landing, Golf Kilo Charlie. Golf Bravo Whiskey, visual the traffic ahead are just uh, on downwind now for Golf Bravo Whiskey. Golf Bravo Whiskey, Roger. Uh, November 8181 Yankee, Roger, there's at least three aircraft ahead of you, keep a good look out. Yankee. Shopping on radio, Golf Ramia Foxtrot at Bravo 2, ready for departure. Number 8181 Yankee, confirm position. I'm late to downwind for 08, I could extend a bit to let you get the one away. Off Romeo Foxtrot, are you ready, immediate? Immediate ready for the line-up, to departure. Roger, 120 degrees, less than 5. 120, less than 5, Golf Romeo Foxtrot. Golf Foxtrot, Golf, downwind 08 to land, contact 1 ahead. Golf Foxtrot, Golf, Roger. Oh, Papa X-ray, are you ready immediately? Oh, Papa X-ray, roger. Uh, one to serve on ahead. Surface wind one zero zero less than five. Shopping on radio, Golf Charlie, Mike Romeo, Foxtrot, switching to safety call. Thanks for your service. Catch you later. Golf Romeo and Foxtrot. Golf Romeo, Foxtrot. Thanks for your patience, sir, and we'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. So that was a busy circuit, <laughs> if nothing else. There we go. Yeah, lots going on there. Helicopters, drop zones. We got in and out. All is good. back. Already done my joining call. Paul is a couple of miles ahead of me. Give us some nice spacing. I see the airfield now but it's definitely getting a bit punchy now. And that's one thing I have noticed with the 9 is that it does seem to handle turbulence quite well. Still looking for engine outs just in case. You never never know. You never know when it's going to go. So it feels located. Out of me has been reset. Come back on the hand swaffle in a minute. Looks like the wind's from the south. There's an aircraft on the downwind leg. There's a flex wing on final. Looks like Delta Zulu. Looks busy today. 
So at the minute, one hour 35, engine run time. Looks like it's a Tiger Moth. Looks like a Tiger Moth on the airfield. I've had, Paul and I have had a great night catching up with some friends here. Um, Clive Mason, a bit for you on the screen right now, Clive. Um, wherever, wherever there's a camera, there's Clive Mason. Uh, it's a fact. Uh, but in short, I've had a great uh, two days, and even just getting held on the ground here, being around all this aviation, has just been absolutely brilliant. Hopefully you can hear me over the noise of the, uh, the aircraft that started next to us. But other than that, we'll leave this video here. Until next time, everybody, fly safe. Oh! You've gone all hit, yeah. <laughs> you know, hit. Yeah. <laughs> In it. Two old blokes on an airfield. So, having that end of day moment, um, I will still uh, get, get us in the morning to from now start again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Couldn't leave that in. <laughs> How do we make good videos? By making lots of mistakes and editing them out.